Hey, what are you doing? Uh, I do a book review. This is kind of hokey, but, you know, uh, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, all uh, this, I guess the movie came out in 1968, and, uh, it's kind of hard to say, like, whether something captures the public's imagination or whether it's Hollywood and the, uh, uh, we don't call it the uh, establishment anymore. We call it the cathedral, I guess. It kind of like forces the stuff on people because they made a movie about it. They made several movies about it, each one worse than the last one. And there was a TV series for a while. And there was even like bubblegum trading cards, I remember. Planet of the Apes trading cards. Uh, I guess there was toys and all kinds of stuff and everything. So it's a big deal. Uh, actually, the, it's, this is the book that was based on by Pierre Boyer. Is that how you pronounce that? Um, and of course, you know, it's always associated with the bloody movie, even though the book, as usual, was a hundred times better than the fucking movie, and, uh, the movie was very, you know, shallow, and, uh, you know, uh, it's comic booky, I guess, by comparison to the actual literary work, and, you know, of course, it's different in a lot of crucial areas. Um, but, it, it's an interesting story, uh, it's like, basically... I didn't read this. I didn't just read this. I read it a while ago, and I'm just getting around to doing a review now. Basically, the story is, is like, I guess, people trained apes to do menial jobs, and I guess the people sort of, like, gradually started, like, losing uh, their will to live, I guess, and then the apes, like, took over civilization by imitating what people did, but it was all imitation because, of course, apes aren't people, and they don't have any, any higher, you know, spiritual... Uh, reasoning behind anything they do, uh, and so the civilization they made was sort of a, you know, uh, a cardboard cutout facade, basically, and I guess the apes are starting to discover through their archaeological excavations in certain parts of the world that, uh, Originally, the world was run by human beings, and of course, this information is being suppressed by their government. Uh, you know, one could almost be sort of cynical and see a sort of parallel here between, like, uh, you know, European culture and, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, Negroid races that are, we're being replaced with, and it seems like a lot of white people are losing their will to live, and it seems it almost seems like the the the, the, the like the, the, the Negroes have been kind of groomed to like take our place. Of course, you know, there's a very important uh, aspect uh, or group of people that aren't mentioned here. But anyway, you get the basic idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, but it's 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 a good read, and if if you go into it expecting it to be like you know. Yeah, because a lot, a lot of times the movie comes out and like, if there, or if it's not a book that the movie was based on, like they'll they'll to get some hack writer to actually write a book, uh, to be about the movie. You know, I think they did that with Alien, I guess, is one of them. Uh, but now, but um, but uh, now this this is the original book, and um, I think it was written in like 1960, early 60s, wait, I'm 62, I'm not sure. Uh, 63. Actually, he's written in 63, and I guess the movie came out in 68, so it's about five years. Um, and he wrote some other books. I guess he wrote, he wrote the book, uh, was it Bridge Over the River Kwai? Was that a movie? Wasn't there a song associated with that? And they like, da 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 was that it? Anyway, I don't remember, but, yeah, he wrote that, too, if you figure out what the hell I'm talking about, which is all supposed to be very... A very good book, and he made a movie out of which is very popular as well. Um, he must have been good friends with somebody in Hollywood because usually Hollywood just like, rips off your idea and changes it just enough for them to pay him any royalties. <laughs> but yeah, so he must have had like friends in Hollywood. I feel like K. Dick must have been well connected too because a lot of the book, the a lot of the movies they made based on his books really were as pretty pretty unlike his book, so they could have got away without paying that guy any money. Unless maybe they figured he has such a big following that, that, that associating his name with the production would actually uh, entice more viewers to go see the films. I don't know, I'm kind of like getting lost in speculation here. But, uh, yeah, I wish I knew how to say this guy's name. Pierre Bouillet. Yeah, maybe you guys have a little background speaking French. I took French briefly in high school, but it was like such a queer language. I just knew I couldn't speak it, so I had to drop out. I took Spanish. I got a T, I think. I took German when I was in college age, but the grammar was so difficult for me. 
and yeah, I didn't. I got a C, I think, and but I could only like speak like very rudimentary sentences. Like I say, hello, nice weather we're having, you know, that kind of stuff. I couldn't have a very technical conversation with anybody or anything like that. But anyway, yeah, Planet of the Apes. Uh, yeah, go ape. <laughs> okay, see you next video.